Right, we're going to look at a very basic feeder setup for catching big fish on rivers, but we're going to keep it as simply as possible, as always. So, we're going to want some sort of a weight. Obviously, we've had we've seen the river trend. There's a lot of flow going on where we are at Cromwell Weir. So, my intention initially was to use a massive feeder like that. That's a five ounce feeder. Um, but that, unbelievably, was not holding bottom. So we moved over to one of them. That is uh, a Corum Gripper lead. And it's six ounces, which is very, very heavy. It's about as heavy as you're going to get for your freshwater fishing. But with these little ridges on, what happens is it sort of seems to stick to the river bottom. Now, you can see some little gaps here as well on either side of the weight. You can actually crush some of your ground bait into there so it's almost acting a little bit like a feeder so that is what we used for this session as always i would practice sort of setting everything up before you go fishing because for example if you just got a couple of hours you don't want to be there setting everything up for an hour and a half so have a quick go at home uh, before you go we're going to be using the camo bolt and run kit right from Corum. In this, you're gonna get four bits in the packet. You'll get a swivel, one of these funny looking things, an even funnier looking thing, and that, which is a anti-tangle sleeve. So, we have our main line. This is the line connected to the reel. The first thing we do is put this bit on, and we just put it through the line like so. Then we put this funny corkscrew looking thing on, like so. Then all we've got left to put on is this swivel bit. So you've got a little clip bit here. That's what the rig goes into. And then you've got a round bit. Now on the round bit, we're gonna connect that to the main line. The best fishing knot. What is the best fishing knot? The most asked question on the Get Fishing pages. So, I personally would like to use a grinning knot. If I'm tying a swivel on or a hook on that doesn't need a hair, I'd be using a grinning knot. Fairly simple knot. A nice long tag end, right? We're holding that with our fingers. We're going to come back with a tag end here. And then we're going to hold that, right? The tag end now goes through this loop over both bits of line five times. One, two, three, four, five. Moisten that knot. We're going to put a bit of saliva on it. Right, we're going to pull the tag end a little bit. And then we can hold the main line and the swivel. And we're just going to pull that tight. Probably one of the strongest knots that you're gonna ever use. All we do then is cut off the tag end. We've got quite a long tag end there, doesn't matter. Now cut that off. You see I've left a little bit of a tag. It doesn't have to be right up close. Right, now we've got a weight and we can connect it to this bit, which is the first bit we put on. It's a bit like a Chinese puzzle, but you'll see you can connect the swivel through there. That is really, really safe. These are brilliant, these cool room clips. Right, now if we pull all this together, you see there's a little sort of corkscrew bit here. If you just roll that on there, that is connected. Now the good thing about these camo bolt and run kits is you'll see that weight's not moving, right? So when the fish takes it, it's going to take that weight and it's going to be hooked straight away. But if that got snagged up in a tree, shopping trolley, whatever's in the river that you don't know is there, that will come free if it gets in any trouble. So now that's free running. So if this line was to ever break, the fish can get away. Now all we need to do is put a rig onto here. Rigs, barbel rigs. Now I would probably encourage you to always make your own barbel rigs or any rigs really. I do understand most of the people watching this video 
it gets a little bit much the amount of information needed to go fishing so we're actually using some cool room ready made rigs here now this is uh these are made with mono and we're going to be using uh, size eight hooks on 15 pound mono these are 100 centimeters long these rigs so for river fishing for this type of fishing because there's a lot of flow we have a longer rig because when the ground bait is coming off of here there's a flow and the ground bait's going down the river so that's we want our hook bait a bit further away than we would in a lake generally we take one off 100 centimeters so they're quite long these rigs now do you remember this bit that came with the camo bolt and run kit we haven't used that yet this is going to slide over our hook length and this is an anti-tangle sleeve now because we've already got a loop here and a knot you'll see one of the ends is very very fine now that is not actually going to go over there so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut a little bit off right so we've got a bigger hole what we're going to do is we're going to get a baiting needle and we're going to show you what this baiting needle is actually for in a minute but if we put this anti-tangle sleeve over the baiting needle like that you've got a little hook there which can go over your rig and then we can put the anti-tangle sleeve over you can see is on the rig all will make sense in a minute hopefully so with the loop that was already tied all we're going to do is clip it over this swivel that we've already connected. Right? The anti-tangle sleeve that we've put on, we push that up and we put it over this swivel just to make sure that rig's not going to come off. It keeps it all safe. It also stops the line tangling. Now, what we need to do is we're going to pull this all together quite tight. Just put it together like that. Now, that's basically ready to go fishing. So what this anti-tangle sleeve has done, it's kicking the rig away from the weight so it's not going to get tangled up when you cast. Now, the only thing left to do is put some bait onto our size a hook and hair to do this we're going to need a cool room pellet stop i'm using clear ones doesn't really matter what color we've got a 12 mil robin red pellet all we do is get the 12 mil robin red pellet we put it onto this baiting needle on the end of the hair there's a loop and what we do is we put this little hook on the baiting needle over the loop then we can thread the pallet onto the loop now we can't use a normal bait stop for this because with pallets they come off this is where we use these cool room uh, pallet stops right now all we've done is put the pallet stop over the loop and then we can push that back that's never ever going to come off you'll see uh, there's a little bit of silicone tubing. You can pull that round to make the hair slightly shorter. Don't worry that there's a bit of separation between the pellet and the hook. That's absolutely fine because then Barb are going to suck that in. We've got our main line that goes onto our weight with our rig attached with the anti tangle sleeve there to stop it tangling. 100 centimeters of mono line. to a lovely presented robin red pallet that's a good safe rig and hopefully if all goes well it's going to catch you some massive barbel